What up, what up, what up, Wheatfield? What up, what up? Welcome to the Wheatfield. This is your girl, Lottie, from Series and Week to Row Show. Well, you show enough, never know what you're going to get, y'all. Happy Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve. Welcome. Welcome on to this space. If you new here, if you new, welcome. Welcome to the wheat field. This is Lati with Tears and Wheat Tarot Show. Well, you show enough, never know what you're going to get. You just never know. Today is kind of odd. It's kind of uh, odd and exciting and a whole lot of mix of emotions going on. It's cold. It's H-E double hockey sticks outside. It, de it definitely is. We're in the lovely state of New York. And baby, when I say frigid, frigid. The wind is howling so hard, it sounds like a whole soundtrack in the house. We could just, you know, throw a little percussion to it and just rock out. I'm saying seriously, it is rough out there. And we're getting ready to go brave it. Yes. Why? Because I need a couple more herbs and etc. You know, last little holiday pick-me-ups and stuff like that. So we're going to have to go out there and get in it. But I pray y'all are safe. I pray that y'all have got everything done, that you don't have to do no more ripping around and ripping around and running and doing this, that, and the other. That everything is good and copacetic. I'm throwing cards all over the floor, which I tend to do. But let me finish in welcoming you. Let's finish that. Welcome to this space. It is a free and open space for anybody that wants to come in seeking this type of connection. I read for the wheat. I am a channeled messenger, yes. I read uh, uh, journaling. I know, Father. It seemed like mud. Like, what is it? I don't understand. Like, today's, yeah, confusion is here. Why? message is edifying oh uh, okay on to ah uh, okay uh, okay thank you Graham yeah I was trying to figure out what was going on uh, Sometimes when my spirit guides are speaking to me, you know, they're mine, my thoughts, they thoughts, and all this stuff, and be showing me, and I get confused as to what um, she's saying to me. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> down. Down. Slow down. <laughs> she said, Slow down. I am a channeled messenger. I channel with the spirits of my ancestors. I have two that are with me all the time, pretty much. And I have, uh, I channel also directly with the Most High God, the Eternal Lord of all of creation. It's infinite intelligence, AKA the word in the breath of life, you know. As many, you know, names of that, that we've named that spirit as well. So uh, they tell me what to say by writing or just, downloaded messages and uh i say that and that's pretty much that uh, we look at we're not religious but we look at we're highly spiritual yes we do everything in the spirit we do we do everything in the spirit and we ask permission <laughs> we ask you know what do you want to do and how do you want to do it and you know yeah we are always in the spirit and uh yeah, it's pretty phenomenal. Like, I, I think it's amazing. The best part of my day is bringing messages to you all. Yeah, that's the best part of the day. That's how I feel about that. Guidance system. My emotions, yeah. I love using my emotions as a guidance system. They show me how close or how far away I am from what I want. This definitely shows me that I'm very close to what I want because I love it. I absolutely, you know, it is, I, I, I wouldn't give it up for nothing and I would do it for nothing which I do you know I do it for edification that's why we do it it's for something <laughs> that cannot be bought it's for edification yes and uh yeah projecting am I projecting no but some people are they do yeah so I had to tell y'all and just share this 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 story with you guys it can tear the we to row show where testimony meets to row okay so again, we're spiritual. We're, we're we're not 
religious, but we study world theologies. We study theologies across the world, like how the source has spoken to its plain creation. Um, for as far as we can see, basically. So, and we look for the similarities and we look for, you know, the differences. And we try to figure out what's a dark psychology and what's not. Like, what has been tainted in the word of God and see how we discern that. And we can look at the tears in that so that we can be edified, like placing the focus back on self, so we can become better, stronger wheat. Because we are the wheat. And we are called for good bread. Yes. So this is spiritual. Uh, it's, I guess it's spiritual guidance in the sense that we testify along with the Torah. And we receive the messages from the spirit. And um, yeah, we give that out. And if it helps someone or anyone along their way, on their path, on their journey, then that's, you know, exactly what this is for. You know, edifying onto self. So that I can edify the source. Because I'm called for good bread. And then edifying my wheat. My fellow wheat. So that you can be edified. And you can edify the source. Because you also are called for good bread. And when we come together over the principles that we discuss here. We magnify that. We do. Where to come together. The Father shall be in the midst. In the midst of all of us. So just think of how many of us unite. What does that magnification look like, right? And how much more edifying are we to the source in that unification? So we, we bring uh, spirit messages, you know, again, just for the sake of testimony and edification and to help. And we have faith that our stories and what we share, the messages that we bring from the spirit, will be helpful and useful aka edifying again i'm spiritual not religious so don't get it twisted a damn show cuss but i'm not profane I'm not. it comes out spirit says it's just words they are words you know and everything was called by the word so sometimes it's just no other word to express that blend than just you know what I mean? I have to make sure all these cards is in the upright. I saw a couple of them in the reverse. Yeah, there we go. So, with that being said, if you could vibe with that, if you could rock with your girl, you can hang on in there with me. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah. If it end up being a little something that you care about, share it out. And if you like to spell and you want to come back on a daily, hit that bell. We do one of these every day. Yeah, we do. We do. So today, um, we just really chilling because I got to tell y'all about this here story I told you. So on Thanksgiving morning, Thanksgiving morning, four weeks ago, it's in the archives, go back. It says, I think the name of the video is, uh, Source says it's time for you to find out. To what? Hmm. When I say expansive or no, which one is it? Is it this one? Self-appreciation. We had I am enough there. It was on the bottom too. Anyway. Uh, we had this uh, reading on Thanksgiving morning. Appreciation Day, as we call it. A day to appreciate. Appreciate your harvest. Your hard work. Yeah. Anywho. When I said, I said, you know what? Somebody finna find out the truth. They are. Oh, sh It's finna go down. It's about. When I say, huh? Turkey flying everywhere. Like, don't. Huh, like, yeah, you we talking about tables flipping and all kind of stuff. Hmm. When I say this morning I woke up and I'm saying good morning, like, hey, and seeing what's going on, reading the field, seeing what the energy is flowing like through the ether, you know, see what hit me in the kingdom that I feel like it's a message in. Hmm. When I say four weeks ago, Thanksgiving appreciation night, huh, dinner time roll up, did somebody follow their husband, huh, whole, everything that I read played out. I said, mouth open. It's not the first time that that's happened to me, though. And some of them have not been, like, just somebody throwing a turkey on the floor or, finding their husband got a whole nother wife. 
you rolling up over your husband's white house to see him and his daughter that's older than y'all daughter. Yeah, we, I'm talking about it, yeah, thick. But it's also the instances when you read that people are in danger or something is in that area. And then you go through and the news come ac across my feed to show me that, yeah, that happened. Because that's in my archives too, you know. And the funny thing about that whole scenario, it's not funny, it's the sad part that's in it. It's the part that get people hurt. It's the fact that um, the women, here is this man, Donovan, because his name is in their tape, so I don't, I don't have an issue with saying it. Um, you show up to a woman's house who answers the door and say, is my husband here? And she say, who is you and who is your husband? My husband is Donovan. Well, Donovan can't be your husband because that's her husband. What? First of all, we in the States, so how is you married to two whole women? And are y'all really married? Like, because it's enough of that going around, like you just put a ring on somebody's finger, y'all been engaged for 25 years, and you calling her your wife, talking about something, we don't need no paper. It's something with that. That's a dark psychology, beloved. And then now you got the two women standing up there facing off with each other about who was really the wife. No, how about y'all turn around and look at the common husband that neither one of y'all knew about? And you mean to tell me that one woman that showed up on this lady doorstep, she and that man had been together for 25 years. 25 years? And then... You looking at a lady tell you that she been with your husband, I think it was like a good 10 or 15 years. I think she said 10, something like that. And they had a whole daughter. Somebody ain't really married. Somebody ain't got no paper. I mean, really? Like, where did y'all do this at? Or where is this at? Because they, they both sounded American. Okay. So where did you do this at where, you know, Donovan is married, wholly married to two different women? I mean, and then y'all looking at each other like, what? This is my husband and we trying to have dinner. What? Somebody, look. Somebody knew. If you've been with a woman for 25 years and you've been with the other woman for 10 years, that one with that been for the 10 years, oh, she know you got a whole wife. You she know it's somebody else in the picture because you be going home and you disappear for days at a time and you do this and that you between houses there's no way in the hell y'all didn't know no way and, and and I don't know how good he is at hiding whatever whatever but she, she had enough to know that she needed to follow her husband on Thanksgiving and figure out what the is going on cause you be disappearing and gone too long she probably knew he, but not didn't know it was that deep. That's what I bet it was. She probably had, she knew that kingdom space say something going on when somebody else is up in your energy field. Oh, you know. You get them spidey senses to tell you that somebody in your field. But it's all about whether or not you're going to do something about it, acknowledge it, recognize it. She said, oh, no. Oh, today is the day. Appreciation day. It's time to know the truth. And a baby. her little daughter went up in there because she saw her daddy and walked right on up in there to her daddy. He hadn't behind the dough, hadn't behind the dough and watching these women talk about him. Fussing over him and he done played both of y'all. He had two whole families. And instead of them turning around and having him come to the dough, and settle this dispute or have her invite her in. Oh, you a wife. I'm a wife. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on in here, honey. Let us all sit down and figure this out. Her old girl said, uh, okay, this is what y'all doing. She did a, ooh, remember old girl from, uh, what's love got to do with it? When Ike Turner had fucked around and went and got Tina, she said, oh, you want to be a family man now? You want to be a family man? You want to play daddy? Well, here you go. Here go your kids. And put them boys right in the house and took the hell off. 
Oh, shit. Oh, girl, little girl walked right on up in there and was like, that's, you know, that's my daddy. She was like, oh, no, she can stay. Her daddy ain't going to let nothing happen to her. And turned around and walked off. And she was like, oh, I'll be back. Y'all better be ready. I'm telling you, I bet you it was turkey everywhere. They didn't fucking, that was, the, <laughs> they didn't, <laughs> they didn't show that part. I bet you it was turkey everywhere. <laughs> like, this is bananas. Yeah, but your girl be knowing it. Yeah, that fascinates me. Spirit say that. What fascinates me so much, the thought of the feeling won't leave me alone. How do I put this feeling into action right now? So she was feeling it. It was in her spirit. Like, something is wrong. I is it. Look, this thing is egging at me, egging at me, egging at me, egging at me, egging at me. And I got to get it out. Come on, Father. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for my awareness. Yes, that you are here, the creator, the Lord of all of creation, which called creation by its word, its infinite intelligence, which connects and binds us in existence by the breath of life. Thank you so much. Bless these cards, Father. Use them as a tool to deliver your message. Have this message be edifying onto self first and foremost so that I may edify you, Father. Edify your weak, Father. Use this message through I am your surrendered, willing vessel to deliver this message onto your wheat field so that they too may be edified and they may edify you. The source let us come together over the principle and frequency of you, which is love. Yes. And uh, edify ourselves. Let us magnify ourselves. Raise ourselves up for edification, yes. So that we may edify you, the source, Lord of all of creation. Thank you, yes. And let us be so... Yes, thank you. Seal this space right now, Holy Father. Seal it, seal it. I call in your spirit of might, the spirit of might, might to protect me, the spirit of might to protect me. Yes, my angel guards, yes. Seal my space, yes. Seal my channel so that nothing can come in and come against us in order as we deliver this message. Ooh, yes, I feel it. It's tough, it's tight, it's heavy. Thank you so much. Seal this space, seal this space, seal this space. Remove anything dispel anything that may come against me that would cause confusion, conflict, disillusion, chaos, and distortion. Distortion. Yes, yes, yes. Let the message be clear. Clear as a crystal bell. Yes, yes. Let it ring through the ether. Let it resonate with the wheat that it is designed for and that they be magnetized to this space. All these things we ask because heaven has come to earth to do the work of heaven. Yes, it is in earth and on earth to do that work. And as we surrender to the work, we ask that you bless it, that you keep us, that you protect us as we go forward. All these things we pray, we pray and ask that you seal us, you seal us with your eyes shade. Protect us and seal us. And protect and seal us. If there's further words that I should pray, please, Father, please, Father, give me those words, I should say. Source says to <sighs> Source says a spirit guide is leaving me. Why? Now, for truth, why? Can you tell me? No. Be prepared. I resealed. Wow. 
Well, that's not fun. My cup says have faith. We were called to the love that Spirit says that one of my source says, our father says that one of my spirit guides are leaving me. She has left? No. When? Soon. I feel infinity. Is it the all? It's the infinite. Infinite creator called them back home. So the infinite creator is calling one of my spirit guides back home. Which is really sad because we've developed such a, a really close relationship um, spiritually. I never had the opportunity to know her in physicality. She transitioned um, before I was even born. My, uh, when my mother was very young. And uh, she's been with me for a long time and we've just really gotten to know each other and it's I've never had this feeling before where you haven't known someone in the physical but you have such a strong spiritual connection I feel like a sense of grief Wow. The beautiful thing I think I can say right now is having the appreciation for getting the opportunity to experience her in the spirit, like to help people through her advice and I mean, we cook and we sing and we, she just helped me make a chili from scratch. Like when, you, I mean, like that, psh, one of the best chilies I ever, I made like my, the kid, I mean, tow it. Uh, I mean, like all the ingredients, like no pre-packaged season, nothing, no. Like that old school back in the day when I talk about pre-date Crisco, like that. I know. But if the father is calling her back, then she must have some other work to do. She says she come back later. Are you cycling back through? <sighs> yes. So she's going to come back. Have fun, honey. Have fun. Have a beautiful experience. <sighs> goddess of self-knowledge. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. Do you want to get the book? Is there anything else to say? The goddess of self-knowledge. She reminds us to know thyself. And 
I believe that she has helped me learn so much about me. Things that I didn't even know were there. Truly a guide. Is there anything else in this deck? No. Just to see what's on the top. The morning star. My ego is in service of my soul and I trust that my soul's divine timing. That's an energy. Are you able to trust your soul's divine timing? Trust the father's divine timing. Because Father just said that she must go. She's being called back. And so I have to accept that. The saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. She definitely has helped me on this path of, of uh, writing this story. I am a warrior saint. I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. My devotion attracts resources and support. And underneath this, we have Yemoja. Yemoja is a secret is 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 connected to the goddess of self knowledge Saraswati because the essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create and Yemoja is the goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy and I give birth to it what exists within me. And I feel like that was a part of her purpose for being with me is to help give birth, help me birth this gift, to learn it, to serve it out. Yeshi, I can never say their last name, but embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment, to help enlighten me. last the energy that she put on the bottom is she moja ding Let's see if i can get that in there so you guys can read her i love the emotion the water that flows from her the enlightenment you can see all the water and the emotion you can see the enlightenment around her crown the purple intuition is almost like regal type of energy so you can see the red the the heart the warmth that's coming out of her heart space guys I'm just like it hit me in my gut my kingdom like, wow. That's how I know the spirit is real. Like, it doesn't matter if anybody, I have faith, has some faith on this if you can. Anybody that has passed over, that has transitioned, that they are not with you in the physical, physical world, in the physical manifestation, they are with you in the spirit. They are. For me to develop a relationship with my grandma who transitioned before, um, I mean, my mother, her eggs hadn't even come into maturity before when my grandmother passed. So for her to know me and for us to have this connection and to walk and to talk and to play and to convene and to cook and to, you know, I, it's 
and and to know that you know she's rested she's she's been rested she's rested for a long time and she got a chance she came back to help me you know to help me to give me knowledge of myself to give me knowledge of myself to help me see who I am and to be okay with that and I hear now you are it's done that part is done to have self awareness to know thyself to know thyself we were just if you see one of my episodes recently, it might have been yesterday or the day before, we were talking about knowing your name, knowing where you come from, knowing why you're here, stepping into your dharma, stepping into your purpose, and, and having the ability to exalt your soul through your dharma, having the fullness of it, not just to ex discover what it is but thank you but to serve it out to know what it is to manifest it to work in that to develop it and then to serve it out and the service is the fulfillment of your dharma it's the service and to be in service to know your name to know your spiritual name to know thyself. <laughs> and I believe that is a part of the resurrection for all of us, all of us, to be reborn, to be, to come into an awareness of who you are. And this month we've been doing this series of Tis the Season to Remember. We kind of started last month, I believe, in November when we saw Black Panther. Yes, thank you. That's right. Because in that movie, one of the themes was, first it was like comparing it to the Lion King because you can hear that same theme, like show them who you are or remember who you are. And it went into uh, Black is King because we watched that with Beyonce's Black is King. And we got stuck on... Find your way back. Big, big world, but you got it, baby. Find your way back. We just might need to activate it. Find your way back. We did that. And uh, so finding your way back to self, to the source of self. And to remember, to realize that you are on your own personal journey back to the source. You are. You are on. Be mindful. That you're on your own personal journey back to the source and you have what it takes to get there and for a while i didn't think i had what it takes like i didn't believe that i was strong enough that i could get through the tears you guys look at my testimonies again like anything in here look at my testimonies you'll see me talk about a time in my life and in this experience where I had gave, I had given up, and I went and stood in the gap somewhere where the breath of life does not exist, where there is no breath. Is breath there? Okay, how do I say it? Stood in the gap of manifestation so I was in the gap of manifestation yeah sent back to serve cause all I could all I could hear Mira anything else in here where is it all I could feel for one was all the others that were in the gap and I could look up and see so far off like the I could it felt like it was the creator like the father himself 
and I just wanted to be with the Father. Just wanted to be whole, complete, completely engulfed in the Father's love and presence and to be connected with that. And I heard the voice say, you will serve. This one. Anything else? Fuel. I enjoy doing the things that fuel me. It feels great to do things for myself just as much as I do for others. When I make sure I am taken care of, I can better show up for those in my life and for the work that I do. I believe what I have been through in my life up until that point is what prepared me. It fueled me for this work. And I believe that that is what this represents. Tears to testimony. Tears to testimony. The tears fuel the testimony. There is no testimony without the test. And I know, I know that I'm blessed because not everybody has that opportunity. And because I have the opportunity, I serve and I willingly serve. And there's a, there isn't a day that goes by that I do not serve. I'm always, always serving, always. And I'm surrendered onto the service. Yes. All is okay. And to breathe presently. I am aware of who I am, and I do know that all is okay. I do. I know that we are whole, and I know that we are complete. And to breathe, it's easy for me to return to the present moment simply by breathing. That's connecting to the spirit, to the flow, to the breath of life that animates all of creation, which connects us all. It fills us all. And to surrender to that meditative state, to connect in the spirit, is highly important. And I believe that's something, a principle that we should uh, dig into as we go forward into uh, celebrating rebirth and resurrection. To release the anger. We got releasing anger and we have release we also have play right behind that. And all of those three says release anger to lighten your spirit, lighten your load. Learn how to, again, flow. Flow with life. Flow with your tears. Use them to fuel you, to grow you. And do it now in the present. Do it in the present. Mira speaks to projections. I saw the projection card and I asked if I was projecting. Spirit said no. But in order to change my life on the outside, I need to change on the inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior reality begins to mirror those new shifts. Mirror the goddess of self-knowledge. When you know who you are, you can change anything. You can use the things that come against you as fuel to know that everything is okay if you just keep breathing. Stay connected to the spirit. Releasing this anger is a challenge. And getting back into something, let's see if we can get that down in there so you can see. Releasing this anger, releasing anger, release it. 
two saying the same thing release it and then three is play i am completely engaged in what i do in the here and now i call it play instead of work i am deeply fulfilled by all that i do So, my spirit guide is leaving me. Is she going to go play? Yeah. <laughs> Has she released her anger? Yeah. But she's rested in the spirit, so that was a long time that she had the chance to rest. Oh. So, through me. Okay. Okay. I wish she could stay and play. No. She has to go. She's being called back. So, presently. <sighs> Guys. I will tell you this. It has been the joy of my life to share time and space with my spirit guides, with her. She's been so amazing to experience, and I never would have known the depth. I, would have know, I wouldn't have known myself, like, fully without her. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create, and the goddess that flows Yay, Moja. That spirit. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. What will you birth? Are your spirits guide, spirits? Are they with you? Do you have guides? I'm sure you do. The ancestors are here. They push us. They show us the way. They do. And we can feel them. Again, if anybody has come away from you in that physicality, they may be resting for a while, or they may be with you, where you can feel them, you can hear them, you, they can, they can, you can, their presence, like, to feel the love, like, even when she take my hand and rub my leg, like, it's okay, baby, slow down, you know, <laughs> I love y'all. This is your girl, Lati, from the Tears of Lee Tarot Show. When you're showing up, never know what you're going to get. It's showing up is like a box of chocolates, is it not? Life is like a box of chocolates. You just never, ever know. Hold on to things lightly. Hold on. Release and control. Have some faith. Have some faith, beloved. We are celebrating the resurrection. The ability to be reborn. To be renewed. Our plane is getting ready to be renewed. Tonight is going to be the lowest point of the sun. It will sit in the same spot. It will set in that spot. And it will rise in that spot. Only to begin its track forward for the whole new cycle that's coming in. Everything starts to begin again. Everything will be reborn. New energy. Taking all the information that it has learned and acquired over this cycle, over the year, and bringing it inside for discernment, letting it enrich the earth, creation itself, so all of that can be used to birth out the new. Can you have faith on that? I do. To the next now. 
on the Tears and Week Terrell show with your girl IT. Know this. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you just like I love me. Because I love the creator that made you and me. Everything. Everything. Called us by its word. It did. By the infinite intelligence of the all and connects and binds us with the breath of life. It's beautiful. And so are you. So, until the next now, with your girl Lati, we'll call this one here and I'll share.